Me and my goldfish haven't slept well for two years. We don't go out and actually have fun, because calculating backwards, we'd be getting in, say, 11.30, late for us, which only leaves maybe two or three hours before the nocturnal torture begins. Goldfish has it slightly better, immobile and yet still awake, unblinking, waiting like me to be jerked awake from the ocean bed of slumber by a cruel fish hook of wah wah wailing, dragged protesting through shades of black and blue until we're beached, floundering and gasping at the time illuminated on the alarm clock. Lights go on, fins start moving, we're up, and almost every night it's the same thing and has been for two years. Goldfish has told me there's no need to feel ashamed, but I do. He suggested lots of other strategies for helping babies sleep. The blackout blinds, the night lights, the lavender oil, the machines that play womb noises, and dolphins warbling lullabies gently into baby's ear. Though according to Goldfish, the dolphins were just actually chatting about Liverpool's chances in the European Cup. Goldfish even stumped up for baby massage classes and a consultation from a paediatrician-approved sleep clinic. We followed the strict schedule, Goldfish and I. Worked for us. We were knackered all the time. <laughs> Baby, unfortunately, wasn't. But we never gave up searching for that miracle cure. And then one day, we took Baby for a usual walk in the park and got chatting to another mother near the swings. I hadn't wanted to initially. She looked too good to be a member of the SDP. Uh, not the political party, the sleep-deprived parent party. But Goldfish told me off for being a grumpy old cow and to make some kind of effort. And as it turned out, she had indeed had a child who for two years hadn't slept much. And there he was, pushing other kids off the slide. Cranial osteopathy, she whispered to me, passing on the holy grail of a secret. No, really, she said. Will was like a different child. Yeah, whatever, I thought. Goldfish prodded me with a spiky fin. Take down the number. So I did. Only 40 quid a session, she smiled. Not much to pay for getting your sleep back, whispered Goldfish. Yes, all right. I made an appointment. We all turned up, me, baby and Goldfish, expecting nothing. The cranial osteopath handled my child like antique china. She was calm and smiley and laid her hands very gently on his head. Less like massage, more like a reassuring stroke. I know when I opened my eyes, the room felt warm. Or maybe it was my heart, spreading joy around a body that had lain in its bed for seven and a half hours without moving. And next door, through the monitor, the precious part of my heart snuffled gently, just easing himself into the day. If I could remember the actual date, it could be renamed by decree as Slumber Day. As it is, I will just mark it quietly as the day me and my goldfish slept well for the first time in two years. <laughs>